Good morning. God bless you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much one more time. My name is Timothy Profitable. Now Uh, I've been away for some time just like I did the other b previous episode, the last, the very last one. And I told you, I was outside town and uh, in a place where there are a lot of uh, network interferences. And uh, so I could not do a lot of videos as such, episodes as such. But today I just want to do something little. Uh, many people have notified me there was a, a video. Uh, that uh, Dauphin did just last week and asking so many questions and uh, I tried to dodge I didn't want in fact I didn't want to deal about it because all the things Dauphin is claiming in that video she did they are all insincere very insincere claims number one Dauphin is saying uh, where will I be if they do reconciliation then I ask one question, why are they not doing reconciliation? Because all of these episodes she's claiming is talking against the former disciples are not talking against any, any of them. We just been taking activities they have been involved in. After that, we engage analysis on the activities, on the eventualities they were doing. Wow. <laughs> They were engaged into these atrocities and they were engaged into this whatever happened and then they say we are, not, we, are, we are seeing these things from here. And one other thing I want you to know that that's not what made us do the videos. I always finish these video episodes by saying one thing, that there is a better way of handling some issues. All these things you disciples have experienced, I experienced all of them some places. It's, they are not new. They are not new. Okay, I do want to say this, but it's not part of what I plan to say. I had experienced such experience. You people say, oh, you are wronged. Uh, they did so much, a lot against you. And uh, there are things that happened. You've not seen anything as much as things that happen to people in ministry, just so. Number one. Number two, you people want to claim righteousness when you should be sitting down and discussing reconciliation. Now you say, oh, you are going to reconciliate. Uh, we are going to reconciliate. Where will you be? <laughs> I'll be right here talking about that same reconciliation. We are talking about things you are doing. And we are seeing. The whole world is seeing it as well. What I talk about in this episode are things all of you know. They are right. They are true. But I don't finish them by saying that. I finish all these things by saying one thing. There is always a better way. And that's why you see so many people get angry when I say they go back to squan for reconciliation. That's what I've been talking about all through. Going back to squan for reconciliation. They may not have to stay there. They will have to just brush out all this. That's what I've been saying all through. So if you say, if you go do reconciliation, where will I be? I will be still here telling you why you did the best thing doing the reconciliation. So the more you are staying away without considering the reconciliation thing, the more you are making us false. So do it so quick. Arrange it. By the way, it's very important. This is not about analysis. It's about personal endeavor in ministry i'm telling you i watch all this thing we talk about here and there over and over again this episode i don't do them for views these episodes i do them and i sit down i watch and i talk to myself also the way you watch and see i thank god you watch them so whoever comes in let me not talk about other things. Let me zero in into reconciliation. 
Because at least now you understand what we are talking about, the reconciliation. Let's deal about reconciliation. Whether it favors anyone or it doesn't favor anyone, it's you, the disciples that left squad. It will be very good for you. It will be very good. Let me tell you that. It will be very good. Whether you go do your own ministry, you do your calling. Because this, uh, this thing, even in the comment section, if you go to all those videos, you will find there are people who talk about this one thing. That you are spreading the prophecy and the prophetic uh, empowerment that came in with them. Um, go into the whole world and you'll be global. It's not that way. And I've been saying this. That global vision will still spin through the reconciliation you will have with Squan. I said it and I will say this at many times as possible. There's nothing we are talking about clashing on this, clashing on that. Let's get back to be sincere, very sincere. This is a, 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 a word, a talk of sincerity. Dauphin, the quicker you do the reconciliation, it will be the best thing for you. And the rest, not just Prophetess Yinka and Prophetess Anne. I know all of them. I know all of them. You may say, oh, we don't know anything. I know what happened. I know how. I know how these things took place. I know how what triggered the problem. I said these things several times in those episodes. There's nothing to correct in those episodes. There are things you people need to sit down and accept. Number one thing with any man for a consistent, sincere reconciliation, everybody has to own up the problem. Now, my sister Dauphin, you want to dodge the problem. You don't want to own it. And you still want reconciliation. It doesn't happen. No reconciliation. Everybody has to sacrifice for reconciliation to happen. Now, because you talked about reconciliation now, let's see the atmosphere of reconciliation because I also want you to go and do reconciliation. When there is apology, apologize. Where there is apology. Where there is sincerity of saying this one does not happen. Also speak your mind and say this is what I really got offended about. A, B, C, D. That's how reconciliation comes. In some versions of Bible or some other doctrinal factors, they call it restitution. It's called restitution. Where someone went wrong, they fix it. Where someone took this, they fix it. Where someone speak about this, they fix it. Where is your stand? Are you really serious with the reconciliation aspect of what you are talking about? That's why we need to be sincere in this. If you are really preparing for reconciliation, let this reconciliation be so fast. So fast. It will be for your advantage. Because I will tell you some few factors why reconciliation will be very important to you. You think we are talking about me in this issue. No, it is you and the whole group. It's very important. This reconciliation to Squan and to Pastor Evelyn specifically. Because all these things you people did, you are doing it to Pastor Evelyn to disapprove. Now you are seeing God. God likes to give back up to the place of disadvantage. Where are you yourself? You took almost like one hour talking about blevoy and profitable blevoy and profitable and things that i don't know that happened okay what happened when you are there you people can should come out and tell us what really happened there are a lot of things some of the comments you read them here some partners also talk about things i don't want to come into that because we are talking about reconciliation now even some partners they come out and say they met you in squad There are also some other uh, uh, visitors, international visitors. They come in and they say, we met so and so. And the, the treatment was <laughs> fair, fair, fair. It was not quite 
Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm trying to talk about these things so that you can understand that there are some things we don't even speak here online. There are some things I can't say here. There are some comments I just quickly delete. Not because they are bad to the channel, because they are exposing a lot. There are some comments even in the episodes you watched. I did I delete. I, I talk to the owner of the comment and I say I will remove it for the sake of safety and preservation of uh, the love of Christ to the body of Christ. I intentionally take the place out. You understand? So Dauphin should not be angry. You should not come out and be spitting fire. Be, be, be good. Be good. Because in the end of it all, you will still go back to scorn. Uh, don't uh, this one in the end of the whole thing whether left or right you still go back to squand for reconciliation in the end of the day for everything to stand still even prophetess Inca and Anne there is one time they will still have to go back to squand and do reconciliation you don't have any shortcut so do a honorable thing. Love Squan. Love Mama Evelyn. Love the people there. Start by loving them. Then reconciliation will be easy. Start by loving them. Start by forgiving. Start there. Forgive in love. It will help you. It will help you. Do this reconciliation so fast. <laughs> yeah, it will be very good. We will love it. You will, you will see me come back here and talk about reconciliation as I'm talking about it now. You will see me come back here and talk about that reconciliation. Happy about it. And I will also come to Nigeria, Lagos, and meet all of you. Even in Malawi, where you are, uh, Prophetess Anne and, and Inka, uh, Prophetess Anne and Prophetess Inka, I may, you may just find me there in, in Malawi, like this. And uh, it's the reconciliation thing. In fact, if I had time to talk to all of you, I would really talk to all of you. I know some people are saying, oh, the level they are in, you cannot tell them anything. You don't know what I've seen. Don't know. <laughs> if I knew you people before you kick, you came out, I would have talked to you to sit down and keep quiet first. You don't leave a ministry in anger. You speed off. Mm -mm. It doesn't go well. I tried it sometimes back, long time back. I tried it. It didn't work. There's no difference. My level and your level are almost the same. In, in every undertaking. So I tried it also. It didn't work. So until I made peace, that's when everything started working. So I learned it. And that is what I keep talking about everywhere. When I see things happening to that level, I come in in one aspect that this thing won't work for you. Try reconciliation. Reconciliation will work. We go, we go with goodwill, with all prayers. Now, there's an episode I was talking about the goodwill or how these things happen. And I said one thing. That the moment you get a goodwill when you leave any place, any institution, not just church, any institution, even company. You're working for a company as a CEO in one place and you clash with the directors and you storm out. One director can only make one call to any other company that does work of the same. And you lock all your job opportunities. It's not just a job. Mommy Evelyn is a very, very loving woman. That's one other thing. Because instead, she still cry out her heart. And she's like, what is wrong with these ladies? What are, what's wrong with my daughters? These people. And sometimes I hear you come out. And you'll be shouting, oh, ah, da, 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 da. No, sit down. Reconciliation, have an environment. You, there's an environment you have to set up before reconciliation comes in. Hmm? There is an environment you have to put down. 
before reconciliation is coming, set to place. And the environment is, number one, stop shooting around, shooting guns, spitting fire. The words you do, you work with online. And uh, don't, uh, interviews, there are some interviews that incite more than solving a problem. Like, uh, I don't want to mention interviews. Some of the interviews people do here and there, they are just inciting for revolution. That's why in this channel, you don't see a lot of interviews. No. We'll be talking so people will be seeing. We are speaking generally on a general approach. But definitely, if we come personal, we can speak personal, and you will see a lot of things we speak to be very personal. My sister, Dauphin, let's do this reconciliation thing very fast. I will also come and celebrate together with you. A lot together with you. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be coming there in Lagos. And uh, if you are in Lagos, I'll, uh, I'll be coming there in Lagos too. Very soon. Very soon. So make the reconciliation work for them. I love it when this thing will, will be happening. I will love it. I will love it. And that's what I've been praying for. That that joy of dwelling together with the respect and honor to mommy Evelyn, that respect. And then you too, wherever you go, you should show that respect to Squan and Pastor Evelyn, wherever you go. That's what we tell everybody, that you are really looking for this reconciliation. You can't tell you you are going to reconcile, reconcile. And then when you go to another nation, you speak against her. Or even if you don't speak against her, what you speak about is an insult to her. You see, it's a disrespect. Let's start by showing respect. Wherever you go, let's be honest. Le wherever you go, talk about the things, the good things Pastor Evelyn did to you. And then she can also feel like, oh, these daughters, they are doing good. They are, they, are, they, are, they are looking forward for reconciliation and it will be fine. We are becoming and we are talking about more of this. Timothy Profitable and this is Blevoy. We handle your spirituality, economic and social matters. See you in the next episode.